Hey, Pen Adventurers, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Penny Pincher, Chalomi, and today I'm coming to you with a haul. Now, 90% of the items I would say are thrifted items that I got from Goodwill, and the other 10% are items that I got from like Home Goods, Burlington. Um, so if you want to see the items that I got, you know what to do. Just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first items that I'm gonna show you are from Goodwill. And honestly, I believe all of, yeah, all of these items came from Goodwill. But um, I have not really been thrifting a whole lot lately. And last week I just got the urge. So I started visiting a couple of stores not too far from my house and found some pretty nice pieces. So the first thing I wanna show you are some um, plates that I got like this. Isn't that gorge? From the Goodwill guys, the light's messing it up. Let me see how close I can get without all of that um, reflection. So it's like a gray, it's like an ombre, gray ombre, then it goes down into like a pink and then it has the, um, the gold little pieces going across. But I thought they were super, super cute. I got four of these dinner plates, and then I also got four of the um, little salad plates or the little dessert plates to go with it. Super gorge. They are from this company, American Atelier, or Atelier, and um, these are so cute, guys. I can't, I couldn't believe I got these in Goodwill. I got the eight pieces for uh, $9.99. So not bad, yeah, good, we'll have stepped up their prices, but I still think that it, the eight pieces were worth the um, 10 bucks. Very, very nice. Can't wait to use them in the tablescape, and I'll definitely show you uh, what I do with that. But that's the first item from Goodwill. Super, super cute dishes for 10 bucks. The next item that I got from Goodwill is this pan. It is almost like new. I think somebody may have purchased it, try to use it a couple of times, it wasn't working, and they're like, you know, let me give this up because I'm not a chef, no way. So I'm gonna take it down to the Goodwill. So this is what it is. It's an oval shaped pan with the orange uh, handles. Super, super gorgeous. It's, it has a little bit of weight to it. See how clean it is on the inside? The outside is a little bit scuffed up. I haven't um, cleaned it up yet. Uh, but I paid $9 for it at Goodwill. And guess what, guys? When I Googled it, I went online to see if I could actually find it. And when I did, they retail in Walmart for $79.99. This is a Rachel Ray uh, pan. Super gorge, super heavy, super sturdy, lightly used, and hey, very, very good score from Goodwill for $9.09. What is with Goodwill and, and their pricing? With the 909, the 139, 109, it's always a nine, but it's never like 999. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the, the rest of the stores, it's always a 09 or a 39. If you know the method to their pricing, let me know. I would love to know. The next item I found at Goodwill is this marble cutting board. Super, super gorge. It is so heavy, guys. And you can see it has a nice little um, shimmer going on with the marble. Um, uh, you can use it as a cutting board. You can use it just as a decorative piece or as, you know, a tray to put stuff on. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but I made sure that I picked it up. And I think I paid $3.09 for this piece. It is well worth it, guys. It is super heavy. And if I were to pick this up in a store, I'd be looking, you know, at least $19.99 for it because of the weight and um, the, the, the marble or the stone itself, whatever material it's made from, it's pretty, pretty heavy. So 309 at Goodwill, I think this was a good score as well. The next item from Goodwill is this little decorative piece. And I've gone into um, stores and have seen them uh, a few times, never picked it up. But I walked in Goodwill and it was just sitting there. I picked it up, they only had one. And this, I paid $5.09 for it. 
Um, and I can tell from the tag on the bottom that it used to be, uh, it came from Ross. Can you see that at the top? It came from Ross and it was in Goodwill for $5.09. So of course I picked it up. I, this lady was standing there looking at it. I don't know what she was doing, but I'm like, honey, just move to the side a little bit so I can get it because you're not sure and I'm sure that I want it. I think this would look really nice in my um, my built-ins as one of the decor pieces that I add to it. Super cute. Uh, again, Goodwill 509. The next item that I found is a set of some gorgeous ginger jars with like rose bushes on them as the um, the design. Super cute uh, with the cute little lid. Um, these ones I've already cleaned up because um, this is a collective haul, guys. I didn't find all of these things in one go. I found them too at different um, Goodwill stores, but this is the biggest one. There's um, three in the set. Then we have this size here. Super cute, super, super cute. No damage to them at all. They were just sitting there waiting for me and I just took these little bad boys home. And then this is the smallest of the three. But super cute from Goodwill. I hold two up because I can't hold all, all three at the same time. Super cute from Goodwill. And this set, I paid like $7 for the three pieces. Now, if you know anything about ginger jars, they can be pretty, pretty pricey. So to find this one, even though it's um, a lot smaller, but with the three pieces and everything is intact, I was happy to pay the $7 for it. Absolutely gorge. Again, guys, if you don't be sleeping on your, your, your Goodwills and your local thrift stores, go in and see what they have. Sometimes you go and you find nothing and sometimes you go in and you find a lot of items, but go in, check them out, see what they have, and you might be surprised with what you find in there. All right, guys, the next item that I found in Goodwill is this pillow right here with the interesting shapes. I love the designs on it and it has that touch of like um, gold. Super Gorge, I got two of these. They're in very, very good condition. Of, co of course, I'm going to clean them up, put them in the washing machine, whatever I need to do to get them um, nicely sanitized. The price is still on it. And I bought this for $4.99. Goodwill price something for $4.99 as opposed to $4.09 or $5.09. $4.99, I got the pair, so I got two of these. And then there was another pillow beside it that I kind of liked as well. They only had one, but I took it anyway. And it's this one right here. See, it has a little shimmer going through it. This is a uh, feather um, pillow inside. Like, it, you know, the, the chopping on this one is going to be really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful pillow. Again, this one was, oh, this one was a little bit cheaper. I thought this one was $4.99. But this one was $3.99 at Goodwill. So I'll find use for them around the house, clean them up nicely, make sure that they're properly sanitized and get them going in, you know, somewhere in here or even in one of my outdoor spaces. I'll show you where I put it, child. It doesn't matter wherever I put it, it's gonna be super, super cute. You don't know. So this is the desk that I found at the Goodwill. Looks a little bit shabby, needs a little bit of TLC, and I'm definitely going to give it that. I paid $25 for this desk, and I'm going to finish it up, and I will take you along for that journey when I start working on it, which should be in the next few days or so. I would have loved to work on it today, but um, it's raining outside, and it has a nice little drawer, just perfect, the perfect size for what I'm looking for. Could I have bought a brand new desk? Absolutely, but every time I think about putting it together and finding the parts and the bolts and the screws, I'm like, no, I'd much rather find something, whether it be thrifting or Facebook Marketplace or wherever, something that's already put together. Um, this is a beautiful project piece and I can't wait to show you what I do with it. Okay guys, the last item I found in Goodwill is this super cute floral arrangement 
what I saw it, it just screamed spring, summer, beautiful, loving the, the, um, the, this um, arrangement with the, looks like it has some lamb's ears, then it has the roses and different things. It's in a clear um, vase. And I think, I'm not sure who tried to do something with it because it's, it's together, it's screaming spring and Christmas with the pine cones in here. Um, I got this at Goodwill for 309. And I'm looking at the bottom and I'm, I can't, I don't remember or know which um, store this is, but I can see at the bottom here where it looks like it was originally $20 but I got it in Goodwill for 309. Now I love the top. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, spray it up, make it look, you know, a little nicer, even though it's already super gorgeous, super cute. But what I did is I said, you know what? I need a white vase for it. And I would prefer not pulling them out and placing them in a white vase. So this is going to lead me into the items that are not from Goodwill. I went to Burlington, was just browsing around and saw this vase. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, mm, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm not sure if the if it will be able to slide right in. I paid $8.99 for this vase at um, Burlington. But this is what happened when I came home. I said, you know what, let me try it and see if it works. And it is the perfect size for it. So that was, Good estimation on my part, and I think it looks beautiful with the white. Like I said, I'm going to, you know, tweak it a little bit, make it do what it do, and you will see this at some place in my home for uh, like the spring. Super, super gorge, love that. Another thing I got at Burlington, this wasn't yesterday. Honestly, guys, I bought this like the end of January for Valentine's, and I totally forgot about them until I found them in a bag. It's some heart-shaped posters. Super cute, that heavy marble stone. It kind of looks like the um, the cutting board. This just has a little bit finer shimmer going through it, but it's kind of like the same um, feel. And this was on sale for $4.49. Again, I bought them like earlier on in the year. Totally forgot about them, so you may see them next year. <laughs> next valentine's or if i feel like it i'll just use it you know we 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 not we not only use or we won't only use it at valentine's day i'm going to use it whenever i want to use it because it's mine and i pay for it okay so this heart is leading me to the other piece that i found and this came from home sense this is super gorge and I'm like, again, with the whole Valentine thing, I'm like, we need to, you know, we can display these things, whether it is Valentine's or not. I mean, like we all wanna sh show love and share our love all throughout the year. So this is a really gorgeous piece for my built-ins and that's where it will be living for the next little while. And this, I paid $19.99 for it from HomeSense, super gorgeous. I love the white though. I've seen it before in like the gold and like the red and um, the white just spoke to me when I saw it and I just picked it up and I absolutely love it. I already tried it in my built-in. It looks really nice. But when I do my spring refresh with the, you know, change of colors and the items from the built-ins, you'll definitely see what it looks like then. All right, guys, we are winding down. The other item that I got from Home Goods. Have I been saying Home Goods this whole time or did I say Home Sense before? If I say if I said home sense before, my apologies. I'm home goodsing. It is from Home Goods, guys. You know this Canadian transition thing to hear home sense, home goods. Anyway, these came from Home Goods. This is the face vase. Super, super gorgeous. I saw it and I liked it immediately. And then I came home and I wasn't sure if I liked it anymore. But then I added these to it and gave him a, a like a fro. Look at it taking my fro. Um, and added this greenery to it and have just had it out and just, you know, just looking at it every day. I'm like, should I take it back or whatever? Let me know what you think about this um, vase. 
Some people think it's scary. Some people think it's weird, eerie, give you that little eerie feeling. I'm okay with it now that I've had it um, out for a few days, maybe a week or so. And guys, it didn't come with this, with these. These are actually little um, greenery, little pots of greenery. Let me see if I can get it out here so I'll, I can show you what they are. These I got from the Ikea while I was up in Toronto. It's these little green plants. And what I did, I had two of them. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen how I put it together. I actually just added some paper inside of the vase and then I just stuck the greenery in, in it. And kind of fluffed to my liking to create his hairdo. So there you have it. I paid $20, $19.99 for it at Home Goods. Let me know what you think about it. All right, because I am still, it's growing on me, but I'm still not sure. And I would absolutely love your feedback. The next item that I have for you guys are these cute little eggs. One says risen, one says spring. Super, super cute. These came from Hobby Lobby. They were $3.99 and then it was 40% off of that. But super, super cute to go along with, you know, the spring decor. Super cute, Hobby Lobby, $3.99. All right, guys, the last item in this haul is from the at-home store. Is this cute little bunny rabbit. Super, super cute. I paid $8.99 for this one. And then I got uh, two little tiny ones to go with it. And these cute little tiny ones were $3.99 each at the at-home store. This will help me to create some little, you know, vignettes around the house, whether in the kitchen or in here in the living room or maybe the dining room, who knows. But the at-home store, I just went browsing and saw them and I picked them up. All right, guys, this is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. You know I absolutely love spending time with you and showing you some of the items that I pick up. And let me know what piece or pieces uh, were your favorite in the comment section below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. You know, it means a lot to me. Your support means a lot to me. And I'm gonna ask you guys to please like this video and share this video. When you hit the like button, that helps us a lot here on YouTube. And uh, when you share it, it's even better. And we get to grow our Penny Pitcher family. So thank you guys. And if this is your first time joining me, Thank you so very much for clicking on this video. I truly do appreciate you stopping and taking a look. And if you like what you see, I would love for you to become a part of the Penny Pincher family by simply clicking the subscribe button below and make sure you hit the uh, notification bell also. That way you are the first to know when I upload new videos. I have a lot of spring uh, videos coming up, guys. The weather is turning. The trees and the flowers are blooming outside and i'm bringing new things on the inside just to kind of brighten the place up a little bit so make sure that your notification bells are on at all times so you don't miss anything also if you're not yet following me on instagram please go and do so now it is the same name at the glamorous penny pincher on instagram so you can see some of the things that i share there before i share it over here so whichever way you do it Hey, I would love to have you join my entire social family. So I am on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and yes, your girl is also on TikTok. Go over there. It's the same name, Glamorous Penny Pincher. All right, guys, thank you so much. Until the next video, this is your Glamorous Penny Pincher saying love you, love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye. Penny Pincher. Glamorous.